What you feeling right now? A lot, man. Uh, a lot. Uh, just. Yeah, I mean, the game's one thing, you know, but, uh, you know, just all the seniors. Uh, just kind of everything we've been through. Just, you know, it would have been, would have been so easy for for us to quit, you know, after everything we've been through on and off the field. Uh, but, you know, people can say a lot of things about us, but, you know, we're not we're not quitters, so. What have these last two weeks been like for you too? I mean, you lose a coach and Coach Knox stepped in and seemed to really bring some juice to this team. I mean, kind of describe, you know, the atmosphere around the team last two weeks. Just been great, man. You know, I thought Coach Knox did a really good job. Obviously, it's not an easy situation to be thrown into, but, uh, you know, he, he did a really good job. And, uh, like I said, just proud of the team, proud of the proud of the seniors, the real, the real fighters. You know, it would have been so easy just to tap out and, uh, I mean, let a really good team come in here and just walk all over us. But, you know, I, you know, I gave it all my, my man. You know, I didn't – I can – I can honestly say, you know, I've, you know, I've been here for four years. You know, I've never, I've never taken a day off or anything like that. Well, there's still the opportunity that you guys may get a chance to play one more, having a chance to put this uniform again on one more time with these guys. What would that mean to you? I mean everything. You know, I mean, just to be be with those guys, my brothers, you know, especially the guys I've been here four years with, so. What do you feel like, you know, you've kind of learned from this bunch, you can talk about, you know, everything you guys have been through, what do you feel like you've kind of learned about, you know, yourself and some of your teammates? Just that, you know, you know, I mean, nobody knows what the future holds, you know, with everybody's, everybody's own career, you know, whether it's football or whether it's life. Uh, you know, but the guys that have been here, been through it all with us, and you know, I can, I can honestly say that whatever's thrown at them, whether it's in football or life, you know, I don't think any of those guys will quit or give in, and you know, I think that's a that's a really good trait to have, and um, you know, I think I learned, I learned a lot about guys, and I learned a lot um, from playing this game, and you know, especially, you know, the last 12 months, you know, I've learned, I've learned a lot. Well, um, after the injury, people would think that you would come in and be less likely to run, but you came back and you've been, you were running more and had those two runs down at the end to get that touchdown. Just kind of talk about that mindset to not be concerned about the in injury to do what you have to do for your team. I um, mean, you know, I just, I mean, once I came back, injury was kind of out of my mind, you know. Um, you know, it can, when you get injured, sometimes you can be kind of, hesitant at whether you know you're clear but it's kind of a mental thing uh and i kind of got that out of my way and you know just trying to execute the play that's called uh, so we, we knew that play was in all week and you know i told i told coach barbe you know I, I want this play if it's third or fourth and shorter on the goal line i don't i'm ending up in there and i'm getting a yard or a touchdown how do you feel out there tonight? You're slinging it quite a bit there in the second half and, and showcased a lot of toughness uh, with, with those runs on that touchdown drive. Yeah, I mean, felt good. Thought we kind of got into a little bit of rhythm in the second half and, um, you know, just kind of kind of stalled. You know, obviously the, the the pass interference call on third down was pretty pretty crucial and hurt pretty, pretty bad because then you're trying to, you know, get a play in on third and – 20 or whatever it may be, not even to convert to get back into field goal range after you had just converted the first down. So that kind of hurt, you know, but, you know, just didn't didn't finish drives off. And, you know, when we when we didn't finish drives off, we three and out most of the time. So um, either we went three and out, couldn't get anything going, or when we got something going, we couldn't finish drives off. You're, you're a guy who's obviously been around you know, Mississippi State a ton with coach research and you know players are going to you know, transfer portal and recruiting. I guess what would be your kind of pitch to you know why someone should come and, and join the program in Mississippi State? Yeah, I mean, 
obviously there's a lot to be done and there's a lot to be, you know, a lot of heads above my pay grade, honestly. But, uh, you know, I, I have full trust in Zach Selman, our athletic director. I think he's a great guy, does a great job and knows the game of football well. But, uh, I mean, if you're a recruit, you know, I think the biggest thing I could sell for you is that, um, you know, a former player told me once, you know, it's kind of, I think it was my sophomore year, he's like, everybody can't play here. And I really didn't understand what that meant. You know, everybody's not meant to play here. Uh, but it's true, you know, and uh, I think the way with college football is going, you know, some people talk about it, uh, how tough they are and how, you know, they want to be this, want to be that. But I think here at Mississippi State, you know, we really live that out. You know, we're not the, you know, we're not the four and five stars of the world. Uh, but, you know, Go ask anybody, you know, who, who's the most physical team they've played against. I guarantee you we're probably top three, you know. I mean, um, so just tough, gritty, hard-nosed program. Um, and if you want to work, this, this is a great place for you. Uh, and if you don't want to work and you'd rather be flashy on social media and things like that, this probably isn't the place for you. If this is if this is your last game here, I mean, how do you describe your experience for four seasons here? Oh uh, man, just just blessed, man. You know, uh, you know, I'm a, obviously a huge believer, and my faith is m my number one priority in my life. Uh, and it's so easy to so easy to praise God when you know things are going good, and you know you just threw for five touchdowns or whatever. But uh, you know, I, I have to give a lot of a lot of credit to God. You know, just uh, for the situation that I'm in. Uh, no, I think any kid in the world would give give anything to be in the position I'm in. And as a kid, you know, you dream up, you dream of, you know, playing college football and you know playing in the SEC. Uh, so man, just just blessed over the last four years. It's been a hadn't always been easy, hadn't always been you know fun and you know kind of hectic over the past twelve months. But <laughs> uh, you know the good the good the good Lord has a funny way of doing things and. Uh, you know, I can honestly, you know, lay my head, lay my head tonight and know that uh, the good Lord is in control. And, you know, I have my, all my faith, all my faith in him, no matter what. You know, sometimes uh, we can question him and everything doesn't seem right. Uh, but, you know, I learned a lot, especially through this last 12 months that, you know, the good Lord is in control. And, uh, you know, just I just have to show up every day and put all my trust in him. So.